Hi everybody, Bob with Knives Town here. We're going to take a look today at a ceramic knife. It's made by Boker Knives and uh, it comes in this box here. It's a small pocket knife and the name of this knife is the Gamma, the Boker Gamma. It arrives in its box like this along with some literature product uh, registration card let's get a close-up of this as you can see it's just a small pocket knife this uh, uh, this particular knife has a two inch blade and overall it is five inches five inches in length uh, it has a, a single thumb stud for right hand opening and it opens like that and locks with a liner lock, a stainless liner lock, stainless steel liner lock. The handle is made of Zytel and the blade of course which is the the real uh, the real reason to buy this knife is made of ceramic. It is a ceramic knife. Now, there's a lot of question about ceramic knives and, and what are their capabilities and, and, and what kind of things do you need to know about them. Uh, ceramic knives really are, uh, are, are the choice to, to make depending on what your use of the knife is. Uh, a ceramic blade uh, is, is a very, very hard blade. It's, a, it's approaching the hardness of diamond and therefore it is a, it is a brittle blade as well so if you're looking for a, a knife that's going to be used with rough work rough chopping hacking prying uh, that kind of thing a ceramic blade is not what you're looking for uh, but what a ceramic blade does excel in more than any other kind of blade is slicing and that's why you'll see ceramic knives uh, very popular in uh, kitchen knives. Uh, they, they do uh, outslice their steel brethren by uh, quite a margin, uh, as well as they, are, um, they do have uh, hygienic qualities, uh, as well as non-stick and, and things like that. Uh, but you also will see ceramic blades in, in small pocket knives like this, gentlemen's folders, uh, if I may. Uh, describe it in such a way as that uh, that uh, you know a, a knife that is going to be used for not not for rugged rough cutting uh, but uh, but is certainly could certainly hold its own in any kind of draw cut slice or or any kind of moderate uh, form of cutting like this you know that does not that does not involve prying or 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 you know twisting or prying or anything like that uh, which uh, which a ceramic blade is uh, uh, perhaps not as um, not not its strong suit. I, I guess I would say that way. Um, there are there are uh, different kinds of ceramic blades you can get. You may have seen uh, uh, the kitchen knives, for example, that I spoke of with white blades. Uh, the and that is also a, a ceramic blade. Uh, what we've got here is the black blade, which is a step above that. The, a ceramic blade, just, just as an FYI, a ceramic blade is made from uh, zirconium oxide. And the way they make it is uh, it's, it's made through, uh, through compressing zirconium oxide powder under very high pressures and very high heat uh, and, and adding certain um, binding elements within the, within the mixture uh, and, and compressing it like that for, for a period of time until, until it's released. Uh, and taken out of the heat, and then you have a, a blade blank, which um, which is then is then honed to the shape that uh, honed and sharpened, uh, and that that will give you your white ceramic blade, and that is that is a, a zirconium oxide blade. It is it is near as hard as a diamond. Uh, further refining of that blade then uh, will will result in zirconium carbide, which is your black blade and it is even more expensive to make and it is even harder uh, so what we've got here in this in this model is is the state of the art 
uh, as, as, as far as ceramic blades go today. Uh, Boker is a, a very well respected and, and old world company uh, that, that's been making quality knives for, for many, many years and, uh, and uh, if anyone can pull that off, Boker can. I'll give you a close up here of the handle. The handle does have uh, some interesting uh, dual, dual tactile surfaces. Uh, here near the pivot, we have uh, a stippling effect, and then and then back here where your hand is going to be more, uh, there is a, there is a some traction lines. Um, it's it's a relatively plain handle, I would say. There is a, a finger groove back here, you know, to, to to get to get a little bit of a grip on back there. Uh, there is a lanyard hole. Uh, you can see here that. Uh, it is made in Germany. Let's see if you can see that right there. Take a look at that blade if you can see that reflection there. I don't know if you've ever if you've ever taken a, a, a powerful magnifying glass to the edge of one of your knives after you've sharpened it just to kind of look at it and see. And even and under even after sharpening it with a fine hone, when you when you magnify the edge of a steel blade, it, you can see that it's ragged and there are jagged jagged points in there. I took a, a powerful magnifier to the edge of this blade, and uh, and it is just it was just smooth as glass, not not any of the of the jaggedness that you would see under high magnification of a steel blade. And uh, you, I'm hoping you can kind of see some of that gleam there. That's what that ceramic blade will do for you. It's uh, it's a very, very hard blade. Uh, as far as resharpening, uh, obviously it will hold an edge much, much longer than than steel. Uh, doesn't mean it'll never need resharpened, uh, but uh, it, it, it'll go a very long time before it needs to be resharpened. And then uh, it is recommended that you send it to the manufacturer uh, for resharpening. Boker does that for a very nominal cost. Locks up with a liner lock. No wiggle at all. It's a very light knife. The, the weight on this is uh, uh, just it's about two ounces is what we've got right here. It uh, I did mention the single thumb stud, Zytel handle, and it is uh, it is a uh, it is a one-handed knife, although not dual thumb studs. You can see that is just just for the right hand opening there. There's no clip on it or anything. It doesn't need it. It's just it's just a, a knife meant to ride loose in your pocket. It is truly just a pocket knife. But that blade that blade will hold its edge for well, it's, it depends on use, of course, but it'll hold its edge for for much much longer than steel. It's really nice. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at that. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again.